Now we are going. Holy! Whoa, guys! Epic prank! Subscribe! <laughs> Stay in true 303, yeah. I hope one day they see me, yeah. Some are dropping my EP. But still. Oh, and it also works really good for like EDM concerts and stuff, so check it. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Hi, I'm Blob Toss. Bob Ross. And welcome to Coloring with Color. Today on Coloring with Color, we're going to show you how to turn something like this into something like this with a little bit of magic that I like to call color. So the first step you're going to want to- oh! <clears throat> Gee, wizards. A wizard! Okay, so in order for this to work, you're going to need a plugin that will allow you to apply the LUT to your footage. So the one that I like to use a lot is called LUT Utility. It's $30, but it's well worth it. It's so streamlined and easy, it makes the 30 bucks worth it if you're gonna be applying a lot of LUTs to your footage. Um, another free alternative would be called MyLUT. No, uh, what was, what's it called actually? Hold on, definitely not that. Oh, MLUT, that was close. MyLUT, uh, what was, what's it called actually? That was close. Good job, buddy. I just find that to be a little less um, speedy. It can be sluggish. It takes a little bit more time to load up the LUTs. LUT utility, it's instantaneous. With MLUT, you have to preload the LUT and then it applies it. Then you have to render and then you see your product. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But it's great and it comes with a bunch of free LUTs once you download the plugin. Uh, it's just a little bit slower. So go ahead and follow the download destruct destructions. <laughs> Go ahead and follow the download instructions once you decide which one you want to go for. Um, both links are in the description and it's a pretty easy, simple process that you can do yourself. Uh, why don't you? All right, so once you've downloaded the LUT plugin, you're going to want to go ahead and download my LUT. So since that's like a mini tutorial in itself, little mini Orion here is going to show you how it's oh done. Oh my gosh, should you shut up already? Okay, thank you. Hey guys, it's me, mini Orion. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to, um... What? Show you how to download my lot. All right, so let's hop in. Let's hop on. Let's hop into the computer for this one. <laughs> Whoa! Here we are inside the World Wide Web. Wow, look at it. That's pretty neat. So we're gonna go ahead and take this lot, and you're gonna download it on your computer. But right now we're in my computer. I'm not in your computer, so you have to do it. So once you get it downloaded on your computer, you're gonna go ahead and whoa! Jump right into the program. If you downloaded. LUT uh, utility, you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that LUT just like this. Scoop into there. Make sure you quit Final Cut Pro though, you stupid. <laughs> Restart Final Cut Pro and away we go. So here's our ungraded clip. Ugh, yuck, disgusting. disgusting. But we're gonna fix that. Go over to your effects pane, go down and you should see uh, if you have LUT utility it will be in the sidebar, if you have MLUT it will also be in the sidebar there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use the light utility. You go ahead and drag that on top of your clip, just like it was an effect, and this window pops open. From here, you can go ahead and select your LUT. So, I'll bring down this drop pane. Drop pane, drop pane. Drop top. It will bring this up. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of LUTs here. And the $30 version actually comes with 30 or 15, something in between there. Some number of free LUTs that you can choose from. Some that are really cool. But we're going to go ahead and use my LUT. So, go ahead and find my LUT. And it's named differently here because I'm lazy and didn't rename it yet. And yeah. <laughs> This day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design, some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower of dreams, real love. Anyway, so go ahead and select that and boom, looks awesome. So just with that LUT, we totally changed the look of the clip. And I'm really liking these colors and I don't even wanna go into the color parameters and adjust anything. So we have this other clip that was shot in fairly same light and I'm certain that we'll get around the same look if we just go ahead and copy and paste that LUT on there. Instead of going through that whole process of dragging and dropping, selecting our LUT, clicking the LUT, and then making any color tweaks that we need, we can easily just copy and paste. Blah, blah, blah. This technique will really help with that. Select the clip with the LUT on it, then go to File. Nope, you don't go to File. I'm a freaking idiot. Go to Edit, go to Copy, and then let's say we want to go ahead and put the LUT on the next two clips. Go ahead, hold, drag, select, go to Edit, down to Paste Effects. Then that LUT will be pasted on these next two clips. Look at that. Look at this graph. And I don't want to make any color adjustments to these either. Oh man, that was really hard to say those words. I hope people didn't realize how hard it was for me to say that. And as you can see, it already applied and I love that look. I don't even want to do any coloring to it. Okay, remember two seconds ago when I said I didn't want to adjust any color on the sex clip? Yes. I was lying, but that's perfect because I get to show you how that's done. Hallelujah. So let's check it out. So here's the raw clip, and then here it is with the LUT on it. And you can see it makes it look a lot better, but I'm thinking it's a little bit too blue. So I've already added a color board to this, and what I did was I dropped down the exposure a bit, and I added a little bit more um, orange in the mid-tones to get rid of some of that blue haze. By default, when you add a color board, it'll be under your LUT effect. I don't know why that was so hard to say. <clears throat> so if you can see when I turn it on and off, we're kind of getting the desired effect that I'm wanting, but it's not applying the color changes to the LUT. You always want to put your color board above the LUT effect. I don't know why, it's just the way it works. So as you can see with this, that's kind of the look that I'm going for. So not only does this, ugh. So not, ugh. So not only does this LUT work really great for outdoor settings and cityscapes, it also works really well for concert stuff and low light stuff as well. Okay, so check it out. Here's a few clips that were shot in really low light with just like a spotlight and some ambient light on him. And by just adding this LUT, it changes the feel entirely. Personally, I really like these colors and I think it gives it a really cool look. But what really excites me most, what really gets me going, what really makes me happy. Would you like to see? is when we use this LUT for EDM stuff. I don't know what it is, the lights, the atmosphere of it, this LUT, ugh, when I apply it, I'm like, ugh, yes, please, I need more, okay? So check it out. So here's a cool shot from a show, and it looks okay, it has potential, but watch what happens when we apply this LUT. Boom, it totally transforms it and brings out all the little colors that you didn't even realize were there before. Wow. All right guys, so go ahead and play around with my LUT, play around with the color boards and adding all that kind of stuff to it, and then you should be looking at some footage like this. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, let me know that you didn't like it so I know what to change. Uh, if you wanna subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, don't subscribe. Don't be a hypocrite on me now. Please don't do that. Don't put that judgment upon yourself. 
uh, and have a really nice day. And don't forget to, uh, um, yep, don't forget that.